Hey guys, welcome to part 9 of Control. The last part was kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie. I died maybe like five times, maybe more, but that's fine. I didn't really look around this place, um, but if you saw the last part, you know that we, she, she said, Jesse said that she wants to tell, what's her name? Emily about why she's here. So I can't wait to figure out what's going on with that voice inside her head because I've wanted to know for a long time. So ventilation, I'm sure you guys have too because it's been from the beginning. So ventilation, Janner's office, sector elevator. Let's go this way to the sector elevator. I mean, hmm. Or another thing we could do is do that mission that we're supposed to do for Ati, which was burn the trash around the furnace. But we've just been through a lot. So I think we're just gonna go in here and go talk to Emily. Oh gosh, research, maintenance, maintenance sector, access corridor. That's where we are now. So we haven't been to the maintenance sector, or have we? No, 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 we have. And containment, which sounds so fun, but we're gonna head back to the executive sector now, okay? Now we're back in the executive sector, our favorite safe place. I heard that his attack the power plant brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? I don't know. I want a new outfit. How do we get a new outfit? I will be. I don't know. Okay. Jesse, you made it. Hi, Emily. And you lifted the internal lockdown. I did. Let's talk, Emily. It was so hard. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it, but around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. 
which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you, you owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Okay, so I liked Ati, but that just scared me, what he just said. And, okay. Also, is Marshall a black woman? What? A black woman in a video game? What? As I may, as a care? What? Okay. Anything else, anything new to tell me before Hi, I skedaddle? Nope. Well, actually, there are. Look at all these new things. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the Bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. <laughs> he didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought of a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? She seems eager. Like, I like her. She's cool. She doesn't seem menacing or anything. I don't really know her, though. She could be. Um... So, we just got level 3 clearance, so does that mean she she doesn't have level 3 clearance? So, I'm, I doubt we're going to be able to get down to where Darling is in the research sector. But anyway, let's ask about building shifts. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So, you notice the building shifts. Of course. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So, they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 oh gallons my. of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? <laughs> How did they even interview? How about that? You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Whoa. Emily really loves her job. Okay. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Sorry. It's good that Emily likes her job. Who, who likes their job? Like, who actually? So so few people probably like their job. Okay, anyway. Ocean View Motel in Kinsin. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? Ooh. We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. 
So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling I mean, agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. <laughs> when is that going to be? And control points. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Well, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More <laughs> tests. Uh, Let's she's funny. hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay. You know, it's just wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. I love her enthusiasm. She's so cool. Bye. See you soon. Be careful out there. I will die many times, but thank you. Um, what was that? I just saw something on the screen. I hear something also. Uh, what did Ati mean? Okay, find Marshall. That's our... Hope has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person? In person. I don't think so. Bad idea. She's trying to get us killed. I think so too. Y'all stay here. Uh, I'll let me ooh, look at her eyes. No, let me do that. We got all these like mods. When can we equip more than one? And I do have like the health recovery on, but like that doesn't really help all that much all the time. Um, unlock by upgrading. Okay, so I'm guessing that means that that's how we equip more than one. Okay, so upgrading, does that just mean getting more mods? Or what does that mean? I don't know. It's order by rarity, even though I feel like they're all common. Type, let's do the, da, that. These are all just the same, and except, except different numbers. What is wrong with me? I never use evade. Energy speed, recovery, let's do that for now. And then we do have some, oh, we do have some, um, Weapon mods also, some new ones, but we can't even use them. And then missions, we do have quite a lot of missions. Is it time to go to maintenance major targets? What does that mean? This is timed, it looks like. We have 14 minutes or 14 hours? No, 14 minutes. Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector. Um, and then what a mess. Investigate the training. Jesse learns about another object of power in a safe. Let's do this actually. It seems like the easiest one. I mean, even though there's an obstacle course or whatever it's called, trading course. And then I think I showed all these to you guys, but we do have a hotline thing thing from the board this time. Cool. Shut up them. So the hiss can go to the astral plane. And then oh no, they already talked we already heard about that, okay. Alright. Well what is she looking at? We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna head to back to where Okay. So I think that was maintenance and maintenance. I'm scared to go back to maintenance. Honestly, but it'll be fine. And then I guess we can head to... I mean, no, no, no. We're going to go to maintenance, do this obstacle course thing, and then I'll end the video, I think. Because then I do want to go to research, but we don't really have time in this video. So maintenance sector access corridor. I think we want to go there. Okay, we got a document. 
Another book club document. All right, cool. And then we got this thing. The materials. Okay, let's keep going. And then what is this? That's the control room. Oh, okay. Do you remember last time we were here and it was all red? I'm so glad that's over. That was honestly so intense, I couldn't not deal. <laughs> okay, ventilation's that way. I feel like we're getting even further away from where we're supposed to be going. I don't think I've ever been here. I haven't. Whoa. Um. I'm. I'm apprehensive. What the heck is that noise? Maybe we shouldn't be here. Maybe we should just go to research like we were supposed to. I mean, the power plant is this way. Mm, bathroom? Oh, they have better bathrooms down here. What is that noise? Oh, it seems like we're in the right place, though. And what do we have in here? Okay. And then we have been here. Okay, oh, so what is this? Okay, central maintenance. This is where I was trying to go before those upside down things decided to kill me. And then we can shoot that, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. So field training. This is where we're supposed to be going, but I guess we're going this way since we can't really go the other way. Okay, this looks spooky. Uh, I wish I just had like a friend at times like this. Okay, I heard a sound. Okay, okay, okay. Can you stop? Don't have, don't have clearance. Where are you? Oh, look at a big one, and it's level three. Hmm, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go to the um, research. <laughs> That's, yeah, we can't stay here. I'm not ready for it. Hmm, looks fancy down here. Okay, just taking it all in. I... Okay. Get... <sighs> like, I like the way that big text looks, but dang, it's huge. Oh, <gasps> darling. Welcome to the research sector of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So... This is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance and and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Um okay. So I was gonna say something. Oh, that one guy looked kinda nervous. He was like, Why do you have this camera on me? This is not part of my job. I was about to say, I hear talking, but it's him. It looks like there's some building shifts and we can't get into ritual division and there's a camera. But I'm the director, so I can do what I want. Also, why are they using such old looking technology? Oh my God, this place is okay. Okay, you, I just cannot. I guess all of the enemies are level three now. Freaking Tomasi copycats. 
I can evade too. Oh, you can pick. Okay. Oh, hello. So they can. They can teleport. Can you sit down? Thank you. Gosh. Hmm. My abilities seem to grow as theirs too. Oh, look at you're new. At least you look new. Do not run up on me like that. Do not do it. Don't like it. Oh, what the sniper? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Dark to Darling's office is up here. But even Emily didn't have the necessary clearance. We're not gonna be able to get up here, are we? There was another one, unless he's dead. What the heck? Okay, dimensional research. This is just so many things. Hello. Oh, do not do that. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Ugh. These seem different than the upside down, guys. Oh, you actually teleport your body towards me. <sighs> Can I just leave? I can. But will you come in? That's the question. so different I've been feeling questions recently regarding HRAs what are they for do you always need to wear them and what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway I Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements or listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. Think of them as a, as a uh, life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Okay. Well, let's read this. Oh, cute! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Love that. Why is that vibrating that way? Look at all these notes and everything. Okay. Guys, I highly, highly recommend that you read these documents. I feel like they're just so... I can never find the words I want to say. Let's stop doing this. They're so... I want to say vital, but that's not the right word, but it's fine. You know what I mean. Just read them. Okay, so this is... Darling's office, but it's not his. It's not where he is, obviously. So, and I'm scared to see Darling anyway because that one guy, Arish, said, "Oh God, hello." That 
That one guy I reset, he was acting crazy anyway. Whoa, can you chill? Can you chill? Who is doing that? I'm gonna die. You know, maybe I'll just end the video here and, and come back to this. <laughs> Come back and start my game and be in trouble, but that's fine. As long as it's not now. So I will see you guys in part 10. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.